Hello everyone, this is a fancy back with another deck review. This is the standard playing card tail deck from Enigmatic Studios, I believe it is. I will link the website if they have one down below in the description. Uh, this is from Kickstarter. It came with a nice little simple sack with kind of their uh, logo on the front and also a little book, you know, with instructions on everything and inspiration for the deck. The idea kind of is to, they wanted to produce a deck, a tarot deck, that could be usable, it's poker sized, that's affordable, and on a good quality stock and fitness to play different tarot games. And also keep it kind of traditional looking. So I've got all sorts of information on here also on, you know, the games, whatever. The tarot. That's the one on the back. So the tuck case, fairly standard, says standard playing card tarot with a nice logo on there and the four pips. It's a standard card playing tarot on the one side, linen finish, medium C on the other. Standard size, regular index on top, and nothing on the bottom. The back is the bat side, which is very nice. A lot of, it's very simple, some circular patterns, some cogs. It's a nice artwork. This is printed by Suffles Inc. Which is it's the first deck that I know of for sure that I've gotten that's printed by them. And it's a pretty decent quality. So inside, like I said, it's poker size and it's got a nice linen finish. You have two jokers, which were a stretch goal. You have this one doing some card magic. And then you get one in red doing some fortune telling it looks like. Pretty nice. The backs, very nice, simple, maybe a little bit thick on the borders, but it is what it is. The aces, very colorful, the pip within all this nice artwork. And it's got the traditional kind of suits in there as well, the swords inside the, that one, the cup inside of the hearts. Uh, I believe it has clubs within that pip and then the pentacle within the diamond. So that's pretty cool, it did that, nice colorful aces beautiful they get to the court cards they're fairly standard which is I mean kind of the idea but it did add in the Cavaliers which are supposed to be stylistically similar to the rest of these standard court cards and I guess they are but they're a little bit different And then, we will get to the Major Arcana cards. Since it's a tarot deck, it has the Major Arcana. And they, as you can see stylistically, were designed again to look like they would fit any regular deck of cards. So you got the Fool, the Zero, the Magician, the Priestess, nice colors as well, the Empress, the Emperor, the Priest, the Lovers. What's the Jack of Diamonds doing with that Queen? <laughs> uh, the Chariot, the Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel, Justice, Hangman, Death. Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun, pretty nice and bright, Judgment, and finally the World, which has all four pips in it. Pretty cool. The number of cards are all standard USB C, and that is that. Like I said, it's printed by Suffold Inc. Pretty decent quality, in my experience.
so far. I mean, I haven't played with them too much, unfortunately. But they shuffle nice, they spread nice. And they fan decently, considering how many cards I'm trying to fan here. <laughs> they are, like I said, a linen embossed finish, which you can clearly see on the cards if you look closely. And it's a pretty decent stock. It's a bit of a thicker stock, I feel, but it's pretty nice. Uh, overall, I like it. Pretty good quality, really nice artwork, nicely done. Simple, straightforward. I like it. And it wasn't too pricey. I don't know if they have them on the website. If they will be on the website, they should be. Hopefully we'll see the blue deck in the future. There was a plan for that, which they didn't hit the stretch goal for. But it is what it is. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Hit the bell, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.